What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. It's Dev. We're here. Always sunny season 8 episode 3. We're finally caught up. You know, I took a break from the show because I watched a shit ton of episodes and we're finally caught up all the way that to where we're recording on my phone now, which is obviously epic. That's sick because all the other reactions compared to like what I'm doing now has been on the the iPhone while the other one was through the logic logitech camera so now the quality is a lot better here on always sunny reaction so obviously that might gain a little bit more traction so welcome if you're new here it's dev we're here glad to be here last on uh trash uh the trash workers were on strike and the gang pretty much started you know doing their own trash <laughs> they were doing their own trash and it was pretty hilarious a lot of good moments in that episode um, excited to see what happens next. Hope you guys have been enjoying the reactions. Glad to be here. I know during a lot of those reactions prior to this one, this was pre uh, the NFL season, and had a lot of hype for the Bears. And now, obviously, we've seen where, where that goes. So, uh, yeah, but we're fully caught up on Always Sunny on the channel. Glad to be fully involved back again because I did take a bit of a break. It was like a mid-season break. It's like a little season finale. You and the second episode of season eight it's okay though because i'm excited to get back into the show i feel like it's been it's been a whole nfl season practically since i've watched always sunny which is kind of crazy and i watch them each week so like i each week like i re-watch the episode itself because i have to edit it so it's not like i'm away from the show it's just i haven't watched new stuff but we are now finally glad to get back into it let's get into always sunny season eight episode three in three, two, one. Oh, God! Ah! Oh, my God. Run! Somewhere outside Philadelphia. What's happening? Over here! Over here! Run! Where? Where? <laughs> Where? Oh, my God! 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 You four got some explaining to do. The Marine Ponderosa Wedding Massacre. What the fuck? <laughs> Wedding guests out there with various degrees of injury. I got a groom. Face is half gone. And I'm still missing a bride. I don't know what happened back there, but we are innocent. We're completely innocent. You four bozos are the only people on the scene that weren't invited. So you can see how bad this looks. Now, who's Mr. Dennis Reynolds? Oh, that's me. Those are some interesting marks on your neck. Let me guess. Ex-wife's getting remarried. You get a little jealous. Get your buddy. Break up that party. So you crash the wedding, get a little tipsy, things take a violent turn. No, 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 no. But look, that is the exact opposite. Make sure that that wedding happened. Why is Maureen getting married in the middle of the woods? I don't know. Some people find the woods romantic, I guess. And why get married on Friday the 13th? It's a monster day. It's a monster day. Thing happens. I'm tired of paying alimony. We got your back, bro. Don't worry about that. I don't need you to have my back. Three people crashing a wedding? It's gonna make a scene. Why couldn't you just let me do this alone? It's not like getting bust up there. I feel like... Ah, uh, no. No. Uh, no. I don't like this place. I... <laughs> Seeing a lot of bats. Yeah, there's bats everywhere. You know why? Because it's Friday the 13th. No, no, no. It's stop. A... Will you stop with that? It's not because it's Friday the 13th. We're in the woods. Stop being paranoid. Still, this is creepy. I mean, who gets married in a spot like this? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Wait, what? You? Wait, Liam, you're marrying Maureen? Big time. Don't be jelly. What the hell is going on here? What, what, what's your angle? Oldest angle in the book, my friend. Love. <laughs> I thought you were in love with Ryan. What's, what's your brother think about all this? Ryan's dead to me. You hear me? He's dead! <laughs> <laughs> doesn't approve that's negative ronald mcdonald now i'd ask you guys to leave but i'm just too damn happy <laughs> the fuck? The dance floor okay 
made you think this wasn't gonna happen? Mac had heard there were some people there who wanted to ruin the wedding. Who? Him. Oh, that is bullshit. I was there to support my buddy. That was a swervy road. Yeah. What are you guys doing here? Oh my God, I knew it. You're here to break up this wedding. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm here to support my friend, Bill Ponderosa. I'm his AA sponsor. Yeah. Bullshit, you two love the fact that I have to pay alimony the rest of my life. You love the power you have over me with this financial burden. You know what, Dennis? Not everything is about you, okay? Mm. I am here to support Frank. No, you two are here to make a scene. Uh, oh, da if anybody's making a scene, it's you. <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh! I just got tagged by a bat. He got you. I got tagged. Yeah, I see suck it. out the poison. Suck it on your suck head. Suck it out. I'll give you two hundred dollars. You suck it out. Two hundred dollars. Suck my head. Suck my head. Suck it. Suck it quick. What are you? This is uh, the kind of scene that I was talking. What is going on? What <laughs> the fuck? It won't come, Frank. Deandra. Yeah. Let's go break up this wedding. Whoa, whoa, stop, stop. So you were there to break up the wedding? Shit. Did I just say that? <laughs> you want to break up the wedding? For all the things he just said, that was accurate. But it wasn't just our idea to break up the wedding. Not at first. Last week, we had a visitor at the bar. Ah. Another McFoil. <laughs> they have to be stopped. The McFoil bloodline's been pure and clean for a thousand years. This marriage is an abomination. Now, when you say pure and clean, uh, you mean what? We'll sneak you into Liam so you guys can talk or bang or whatever it is you want to do. Mm. Frank! Frank! Oh, thank God you're here, man. I am not going to make it. I am itching to get blitzed. What? <laughs> yes. You're my sponsor, Frank. Come on, I, my support system. Give oh, me some. Right, right, right. Of course. So do whatever you feel is best. Well, I feel it would be best if I pounded a beer. I'll support that decision. I wish I could. I mean, it's a dry wedding, for God's sake. They're serving milk. I feel like maybe I should do some drugs then, you know? Is that bad? You earned it. Yeah. You do whatever you feel like. You're a good person. Frank. Mm. Cool. Cool. Thank mm. you. <laughs> Stop wasting oh time. Oh, God. Let's go find Liam. Shit. Red wedding shit. God. Hang back. I got this. Okay. Oh my. Dude, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. We could definitely get laid. Ow! Yes, OMG, what are you doing here? Well, uh, I have reason to believe that someone is here to destroy this special day for you, so I'm here to make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, that is so sweet, Dennis. I also brought along some legal documents, so if we could just wrap this up, Lydia. <laughs> legal documents? What? <laughs> yeah, I realize my timing is a little unorthodox, but uh, I figure what better way to make sure your union is totally complete than by having you sign these documents that I need you to sign. So then I'll run up, get Liam's signature, and this will be on the books and your wedding. Oh my God. Why, Maureen, you've you've enhanced yourself. Yeah, I got my tooth fixed. I'm talking about your tits, your big giant new titties, Maureen. Yeah, I was gonna say she looks at, like her tooth looks great. I mean, yeah. Oh, here he comes. I didn't get it. Damn, I mean, I was so close. I was so close. Do you know where Liam is? Maybe I can get his. I've seen first. him anywhere. I'm sorry, but I gotta bring this up. Right, things are getting really weird. I mean, check out Peppy McToyle. You can what is that all about? I'll tell you what that's all about. <laughs> Zombies. Zombies. I seen it once before in a rat, and I seen it now in men. It gets a taste for its own kind. It can spread through the pack like a wild. <laughs> Endlessly chomping and biting at their own hinds. <laughs> Nothing but the taste of flesh on their minds. On their minds. A writ. <laughs> and the eyes roll over white. And you don't hear nothing but the screaming and the hollering. What are you doing? Hmm? 
Are you doing the speech from Jaws? Um, are you doing Jaws? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. And you explain what happened next. <laughs> Okay, it's time to get out of here. I mean, look at that guy. Oh, yeah, my boys sprung from my lungs, fully formed. I ate him first. I oh, ate him first. Yeah, okay, I'm with Charlie. I'm leaving. <laughs> You're gonna go? Yeah, we're out. You know what? I don't give a shit. Yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, get the hell out of here. I didn't want you here in the first place. What the hell? Oh my god. I'll just go on. Yeah, I understand the McPoyle bloodline's very strong. Legions of us thousand sturdy ones ruled it. <laughs> Pure as the driven snow. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? Syphilis killed about half of us. Mm. Yeah. Mongoloidism got most of the rest. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Who's this guy? <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> Dude, the acting here is so great. going on? It's got attacked by a bunch of zombies! Yeah. Uh, the shuttle bus is gone! A zombie must have stolen your car! Your car is gone! There's no way out of here! There's no way out! What are you doing? I love the random noises, pig noise, whatever's going on there. Damn! <laughs> what the fuck? Hi, Dennis. <laughs> what did you do with Lee? You two ladies getting talked out of it. Get out of my way, Frank. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, I thought he was. It's time we move on. Well, Liam, convince me it's not our blood that's being tainted. It's us tainting the blood of others. McPoyles will take over the world! <laughs> God damn it. She drank the bat blood. That's how she got sick. Frank's blood. Yes, but the bat juices, you know, the no, bat the saliva, no, the bat rabies. What? Bat rabies, I buy. Bat rabies? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I did something really, really bad. Guys, we got to get out of here before everybody finds out what happened. Guys, I messed up. I messed up bad. What'd he do? What did he do? What the fuck? Oh my god! These nuts! <laughs> What's the half say? Here, have a sip. Read right from the cow's titty or love. Oh, all the the milk got it is going No, you don't go in. Party's just starting. You gotta have some. Come on, try it. Come on, loosen you up a bit and make your butthole hot. How is drinking a glass of milk going to loosen me up, Bill? It, I, I spiked the milk with methylene dioxypyrovalerone. What? It is bath salts. I knew it. Dude, when was the last time you drove a car? Don't worry about it, man! I can drive, I'll remember how. I'll remember how. What? Oh no. <laughs> Something bad happened. Something very bad. Oh, shit. Oh, God, Moraine's. Who did those tits? The nipple placement is crazy. I love you, Dennis Reynolds. No, you don't. I no, look. You. You're just gonna sign these papers and we're gonna be done with this, Never. okay? 
I'm gonna run away, but not with you. <laughs> I'm gonna find you. Oh, no, no, you're not gonna find me. No, no, we can't do this, Maureen. No, no, please, what have I done? The post-nut clarity is incredible. Home we'll put this whole adventure behind us. No. No, 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 you gotta help me. What have I done? You gotta help me. What have I done? No! Oh, what a ridiculous ass fucking episode of television. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was so fucking stupid. But it was great. I enjoyed every minute of it. Would this come out like 2011, 2012? This is definitely at the height of... Because I remember during around that time, I think it was 2012, there was the bath salts thing. And there was the guy who ate the the guy's face on the in Miami, I think on a bridge or somewhere or wherever it was. But he was on bath salts, and everybody was freaking out. They're like, "Oh my god, this drug is gonna start turning people into zombies, and we're gonna it's actually gonna happen." I remember actually freaking out about it when I was like eleven years old. I was like, "Mom, some dude is on, some dude is a zombie in Miami." Yeah. <laughs> uh, Marine though, she looked great. Like, Dennis, what are you doing, pal? Just, she wants you. Why not? Why don't you want her? God, that was ridiculous. The fucking incest. The, the, the inbred, not incest. The, well, incest, but the inbred wedding. I mean, inbred wedding with everybody on bath salts. That's got to hit. <laughs> That's insane. That's incredible. I love Charlie crashing D's car because he forgot to drive and he. he no. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Just, I don't even know what to talk about. I mean, that was just ridiculous. It was a ridiculous episode. The acting was great. I really enjoyed the directing style, too. There's a mixture of, like, uh, like, obviously horror movie shit. But, uh,. Edgar Wright kind of there's like a hot fuzz feel to it for some reason if that makes sense I don't know that was a great episode that was so fun and, and we're dumb it was so stupid but I enjoyed it quite a bit the, the, the McBoyles once again of course love seeing them always great to see them Marine the Marine the Ponderosa and McPoyle wedding is interesting God, Dennis, he listened to his dick at the end. He was just like, I got a smash. I'm sorry. I don't know how he did that. I mean, he has his Dennis system, of course. And Pond M Maureen obviously had feelings for him in the first place. It's insane. It's incredible. Incredible episode of television. Um, I'm interested to see how the normal, like how people feel like just the normal base of fans how they feel about this episode. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about this episode. And let me know if you guys like this reaction. We got everybody. This episode it was a great episode. Loved it a lot. Well, okay, I'm not going to say great. It was ridiculous. But it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun on a, you know, Friday the 13th scary episode. So that was pretty good. Scary, quote unquote. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for daily videos every single day. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram. And all the social media is down in the description below. And we'll catch you for another video. Goodbye!